Hi there, this is Marcy, your queen of thrift and your host for the show. It's 3.30, you know what time it is, let's talk dirty. For today's segment, I'll be sharing with you my top tips and hacks about thrifting so you know what to look out for the next time you're on your thrift run. And here are some of my favorite recent thrift finds. The first tip that I want to share is to look for diamonds in the rough. Just because something is a little flawed, it does not mean it cannot be having potential. 9 out of 10 sweaters are being thrown away after they are shrunk or not properly washed. And this is what I found at my nearest value village. This was originally shrunk, but then I brought it back to life just with a little bit of conditioner, some patience, and elbow grease. Dissolve a cap of conditioner in cold water, then soak your shrunken sweater in it for 20 or 30 minutes. Massage it in, gently stretch it, then just lay flat with a towel underneath to lay flat to dry, and this will give you a perfect sweater in no time. The next item that I found that I absolutely am obsessed with is this water bottle. It's made out of glass and it has a silicon sleeve to prevent it from knocking. When it comes to buying things, always check the price online to make sure that you're getting a good end of the deal. Value Village workers handle thousands of items every day. They are not always properly pricing their item. So make sure to do your research to make sure you're getting a good deal. This is one of my biggest and most treasured thrift finds ever. It's a brand new milk frother from Nespresso. It goes on the market for 90 Canadian dollars, but I got it for 10. But when it comes to electronics, make sure you test it in store to see if it's working. If it's not, then it's better to not bring it home or else it would just create some more waste at home. The second to last item is also my recent favorite. It's a mini label maker. For tech items, to always make sure that you could find a manual online, even if it's not in PDF form, maybe you can Google it or on YouTube because a lot of people do share manuals or like instructions on how to use mini tech products on YouTube it's probably the best place to start. I know how everybody talks about the power of manifestation. I've always been wanting a good quality gray scarf, a very good material. And I found this scarf that's 100% made out of cashmere on the most unassuming spot buried among thousands of gray scarves. I lay my hands on the scarf, trying to feel the hand feel of each textile and material. And I found this one. However, for cashmere or knitted materials, I cannot emphasize how important it is to make sure you follow the caring instructions. Trust me, nothing feels worse than finding a good deal and then eventually having it ruined by your own hands at your own home. Did you know that research shows that there's at least 30 small household electronic items being thrown away every year? One way to minimize the waste is to shop secondhand. I mean, after all, one person's trash could be another person's treasure, just like everything I found today at Valley Village. Thrift shops are not only the treasure troves of secondhand items, they are also a great place for good deals with a variety of them. Why get something for a full price when you can get it for a fraction and also save the environment? One of my favorite places to thrift is Value Village. They have over a hundred stores all over Canada. Just pop up Google Maps. Maybe you'll find one store just in your neighborhood and it could be your next favorite store to shop at. So let's thrift to save the environment and our wallet. Remember, every purchase counts. I'm like a Rolling. Babe, do you want to come see me film? Can you see? No, I can't see shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it tight? Yeah, do you want to see me film? Okay. He doesn't care. Hi there, this is Marcy, your queen of thrift and ho. It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, it did not have host we on the prompter. The <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. My jaw hurt. <laughs> Living in a material world. This is a rather old model and it's an uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> oh my god, JL. It was you, not Bob. More, more.
No, um, the other way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Last. Yeah, yeah. Good. It's it's just the last part. I'm just waiting for the word to roll in. I spit. Okay, I'll just do the last part. Okay.